Hey everyone. There's this video I wanted to do since like a day ago or days ago. I'm just eating right now, but I figured I'd well try this out. <laughs> but basically, it's about war, right? Right now, the United States is involved in various conflicts, wars with certain people, certain groups. Some of it's within the name of protection, protecting the United States, you know, like some terrorists, I guess. I suppose the basic idea is that there are certain groups out there that don't like the United States. They want to bomb the United States. Basically, that's the basic idea. What's interesting is that terrorists have existed for quite a long time. If you look at Europe in the like in the eighties, I think it was it or fifties or sixties, seventies. I don't know exactly years, but there's been lots of terrorist groups there from all from all sorts of groups from just people who you know just wanted to destroy society in a way. It was against a lot of things, but here's like one basic question, like. You know, there are people out there. Let's, let's put it simply. Like, there's one group that doesn't like another group, you know. But let's look at the main differences, differences between the groups. You know, what makes them different? I mean, because... Imagine. The United States spends, like, what? 60% or 70% or 80%, I don't know, a lot <laughs> of their budget on war, on their military. That's like billions, maybe trillions of dollars, I don't know, so much money. Imagine if, if we took all that money that goes yearly into the military, or from this year forth, we turn, take all that money and make it into gifts for everyone. Because imagine, okay, let's say, let's make this practical. You have your neighbor, like literally, you know, your neighbor lives next to you. Let's say he hates you and wants to terrorize you. Let's say you spend 67% of your budget on military and wars to get back at him. That, and pretend you're pretty damn wealthy too. Imagine you take all that money, turn that into gifts or a gift for him or her. Like, how would you feel if the person you hated gave you gifts or gift? Can you imagine if the United States did that, they would give gifts to everyone. They would give them money, or they would give them food and water. They would give them support from the most highly educated people in the United States who would go to their countries, support them to build their countries using the knowledge and science that's already been discovered, using technology that's already been discovered, but is not being implemented over there. Imagine if they were to try to go over there and solve problems that are unique to that area of the world. Or, you know, to support. With, you know, because there's so much money that goes in the military. Imagine if all the money became a gift, a gift to everyone, to all the enemies right now of the United States. To me, that's what I would do. So vote for me for president. <laughs> but um, yeah, we can do that. That's something that can be done, right? Why not? 
Is there any practical reason why we can't give gifts to our enemies? To give them, I guess, the word love. Love thy neighbor as thyself. To give them support that they need, or they would even make life better for them. To support them to become healthy, well, happy. Then they won't be your enemy anymore. And this really would be the most effective military campaign <laughs> that can be done in order to remove your enemies. Because then you make friends. It seems smart to me. <laughs> I mean, why would you want to destroy your friend? Why would you want to destroy someone who supports you so much in every way they can? So. That just seems the smartest thing to do. For security, for safety. You want to keep yourself safe. Safe. Make some friends. Make your enemies into your friends by supporting them. Because when you look at it practical level, in a practical level, the United States has so much wealth, has so much resources, such a grand, giant country. What if we actually use our resources to support everyone, support life? We could help other people and other countries develop and become more independent. And they can support other people as well. That's just some smart, man. Why would you want to make a military when we already have the greatest military, which is ourselves, and supporting each other? Okay, <laughs> so thank you very much for listening to this video.